Hey guys, in this video we're going to be checking out the Mega Constructs Pokemon set DYF12. This is the 97 piece War Turtle. First, having a look at the box, like I said, it's 97 pieces. It's recommended for ages 6 and up. You get one large Pokemon, as well as a diorama display for the Pokemon to stand on top of. In this case, you have a very watery effect, a watery scene for the very fitting Pokemon War Turtle. Also includes a Pokeball, all of which I'll show you in a second. Spin around the back of the box, you can see some of the other sets available as well, including a set here that has the Squirtle, and I'm looking forward to having a look at that one in a future video. To check out more though, from the folks over at Mega Constructs, make sure you head over to play.megaconstructswithanx.com. And there is your box. The set will include a instruction guide showing you how to build not only a War Turtle, but also the diorama that he comes with. Uh, by the way, for page counts, you're looking at 21 to 22 pages, the last page only really being a, an overall completed image of what the figure and Pokemon set looks like. On the other side, you have a really cool looking layout of all the Pokemon sets that they have released. There's a couple of ones that they, I think, have omitted. No, that's not true. That's not true. They're all there. Uh, if you wanted to catch them all, these would be all the ones you would want to catch. And uh, we're going to have a look at all of them, the entire complete wave all of them in a series of upcoming videos so stay tuned for that let's uh you know what we'll look at the we'll look at the set the base first and then we'll look at war turtle uh, it does come included with a pokeball with your red your black and of course white only three pieces to make the pokeball and there's really no unfortunately no hole or anything on the underside where it could attach to the peg but what you can do is there's these, generally all these sets have these four placement pegs. I keep saying pegs, bricks, and the Pokeball kind of just sits. Loose, yes, but it does kind of nest the Pokeball in place, kind of keeps it on display like that. The base is uh, made up of the same sort of shaped bases. Let's not have the Pokeball roll away on me. Uh, it's still made up of the same shapes as what we've seen with the other Poke sets. Uh, this one here, though, we have a very frosty, very vibrant uh, ice blue for the plastic that they use. It's translucent, which is quite nice. Here, we've got almost a bit of the beach showing, whereas the rest of here is water. And you've got some really nice-looking uh, translucent bricks that have been uh, created for the set as well. More importantly, like these little sloped pieces. Quite like that. Uh, also... Uh, we've seen these pieces before used with Pikachu, and I think Charmeleon also had them as well. But uh, here, they've used it as more like splashes of waves versus fire. Still has the translucency to it, and it's been pegged in such a way that it, again, kind of looks like splashes and waves of water. So that's your base. And let's have a look at War Turtle, which looks very, very cool. Now we did get, uh, of course, we're going to be looking at Squirtle in in, an, in a future video. Of course, we got War Turtle. I don't think actually that they've released a Blastoise yet. Maybe they have. I, I don't believe they have though. So if they haven't already, definitely would love to get a Blastoise. Uh, here is War Turtle, looking quite nice. Of course, with his little poof tail that he's got on the back there. Nice fully printed shell on his back. Uh, he's a very large-looking figure, very large poke Pokemon. Um, he also does have a really nice face print. None of these, by the way, are stickers. You don't have to worry about applying them on or anything like that. I also quite like the how you had to build the textured or the curve on the front of his shell. These are all individual pieces that you had to angle and, and basically flesh out the rounded nature of his shell. So I, I like that as well. Very, very simple, by the way, to build these sets. I think War Turtle here took me, I want to say, about 10 minutes to build. Posability on this guy. He's got the ball joint in the head, ball joint in shoulders. It's, technically, you could rotate the hands. I mean, that's it's not like he really is going to hold anything. And he's also got the ball joints in the legs as well, with, I guess, a little bit of posability in the feet also. Uh, let's go ahead and bring the box back into play. Unfortunately, I did open this box upside down. I should have actually opened it from the top, but there's the box right there. 
not one of my favorite sets, but I do like the, I think I like Blastoise and I like Squirtle. Not really as much the fan of War Turtle, but I do think that uh, Mega Constructs did do a pretty good job of, uh, you know, a build set where we were able to build him. And he's a good substantial size as well. These guys are currently available in toy stores and other retail stores. If uh, Certainly, if you haven't had a chance already to pick them up, I would really say uh, from a Pokemon fan, at least of the more original 99 or so, uh, these are fun pickups to, to pick up and really, really easy to build as well. Today, we were having a look at the Mega Constructs. This was set, it's right there, DYF12, a 97-piece build. Today, we're having a look at War Turtle. If you guys haven't had a chance yet to subscribe to this channel, make sure you hit that little subscribe button just below this video, and you'll never miss a beat when it comes to future videos. And of course, speaking of future videos, if you are fans of Pokemon and would like to see more of this sort of stuff, don't worry, this guy has got a lot more of this sort of stuff coming up in future videos, so stay tuned for those. Thanks for watching as you always do, guys. I'll see you guys next time.